Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, as you can see in the title, this is an acne coverage video, um, as well as going to be a demo of what I reviewed this product before the uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. And this is what I'm going to be using um, as my foundation to cover the acne today. Um, this was just a really important video that I wanted to do since I recently started my channel. Is one of the reasons I wanted to start it um, because I know there's a ton of people out there just like me who have scars and acne and redness and pigmentation and all that kind of stuff and it can at times just make you feel really self-conscious and you just want there to be a way to get good coverage that looks natural make you look like you have really nice skin and that can just make you feel confident about yourself. Um, I've been struggling on and off with acne for about five years or so. Um, it actually started when I was like 18, 19, which is a little odd. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've been struggling on and off for years. So I've had a lot of experience um, putting on makeup to cover the acne. I've had a lot of people who know what my skin looks like underneath ask, you know, how do you make your skin look so flawless with makeup? without looking cakey and just make it look so natural and stuff. So I just really wanted to share it with you out there. Um, I do want to just jump into the video here, but I just wanted to mention real quick that, you know, if you don't have acne and you don't understand what it's like, you know, please don't make any kind of rude comments or anything like that. Um, people who have suffered for acne for a long time typically have tried just about everything and it just hasn't worked for them. And sometimes there's other things going on. So please just don't make, you know, um, Please just don't make rude comments um, and just, you know, say rude things about my skin or other people's skin because it is hard to come on here and just, you know, show your fresh face <laughs> with nothing on it. So, um, so yeah, with that being said, I just really want to make this to help others. So, um, so yeah, let's just jump into the video. So, this is my face with absolutely no makeup. You can see my... Um, my active breakouts, I have some in this area. I think a lot of that is hormonal right now. Um, you can see some of this area as well. I just have a lot of redness. I have a really pink undertone to my um, to my skin, so that definitely doesn't help the redness. I'm gonna zoom you in just a smidge to see my face a little better. So yeah, you can see all of that going on here. And we're gonna cover it all up. So, all that I have on my face right now is just a primer. And I did use the um, Pixie by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. I absolutely love this. Um, it's great this for acne prone skin. You can use a, a wipe to wipe off my hands so they're clean. Because I am going to apply this with my fingers. Because I do find that that's how I get the best coverage. Kind of oddly, I've used a beauty blender, I've used a. Um, a brush but I just get way 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 better coverage with my fingers so I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my fingers and I do have the color fair light and neutral so that's my color so you do need to shake this foundation just shaking that guy up it does have a dropper so I'm just getting my my foundation here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my hand like this I don't know if you're able to see that and I'm gonna go, I'm actually just gonna start with two pumps because um, that's what is good for me. Um, I, I was having to do four to five pumps before, um, before when I was using a brush or a beauty blender and now I only have to do about two and a half, which is really great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I honestly um, just rub it into my skin and I do apologize. I have a mirror right here, so that's what I'm kind of using to put it on i really love this it has great wear time um it looks matte still well not like a hundred percent matte but it looks pretty matte by the end of the day which i really love i'm not like a big grease ball and my skin is extremely oily so that's actually shocking <laughs> So I'm honestly just rubbing it in. A lot of people might say that, oh, the foundation is streaky when you don't apply it with a brush. Um, and it can be, but that's why I just kind of go in when I'm done. Um, and once it's kind of almost set, and I just kind of buff out those streaks with my fingers. So it's really simple, I feel like. So I don't have that problem really. I'm just kind of putting on one layer right now 
making sure everything has some here. Has been just a little bit since I put on my primer, so I let it soak in real good. And other than that, I just washed my face this morning and um, put on my moisturizer, and that's all I've done today, so was absolutely my bare face that y'all saw so okay so that's pretty much one thin layer of the product as you can see it does a pretty decent job of covering up um just with that um i if you see some streakiness like i said don't worry about it i go in and i buff that out so um and i still have about this much left on my hand from those pumps that i got i am gonna do just about half a pump more like I said, I do go in with about two and a half pumps. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spot conceal with my foundation. So not only do we go in with a little bit of concealer when we're done, but we also go in with our foundation because I honestly don't know why more people don't do this because it just looks more natural when we just use the foundation itself to just on our spots. So we're not trying to cake up the whole face you know, we're just putting it on. I have an eyelash right here. Get out of here. There we go. We're not trying to put a huge layer over the entire face. We're just trying to get those spots that are, you know, not looking good. So I'm just putting on all my trouble spots here. Sorry if I'm a bit sniffly been having pretty bad allergies this week that just been kicking up my butt so sorry about that if you hear any sniffs. so yeah I'm just using what's left on my hand I do have some dry spots I'm mostly oily but right now I have some dry spots from trying to um you know dry out this acne the few active breakouts I'm having right now so so yeah, but I absolutely love this foundation. I have been using it for three, four weeks now. I am in love. Like I said, it has such great staying power. It really does. At the end of the day, I do not look like a grease ball. It just is so natural. It's lightweight. I love it. It's been my go-to foundation when I'm putting on foundation. I, yeah, I'm obsessed. Like I said, I can put it on my, with my fingers, which I love. I put on most of everything with my fingers because you just get better coverage that way. Um, and then I'm going to just use the rest and just kind of blend it down my neck a bit on the sides. Just really blend it in here. And also just kind of any streakiness that may be there just kind of tapping it out that's all I'm doing and I'm just gonna kind of wait for this to set too before we move this on this is what it looks like with just the foundation I think it's beautiful I love this like I said I just love this foundation um, it does not make me break out it's water-based so I do feel like it's definitely hydrating it doesn't accentuate any of my like dry acne spots or anything like that so I mean I could potentially just go out like this and feel okay about it because it, I just feel like it looks nice so yeah we're gonna just go ahead and wait for this to set a minute just kind of you know I do this because I'm not I'm not patient so just waiting okay, so I do feel set. like it's set pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer which oh, this was one that I was using before I stopped using it for a while I have no idea why absolutely love it and it's great for acne i love it for acne it is a the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum serum concealer guys this is so good i've heard it compared to i believe it's the um nars creamy concealer or no maybe it's urban decay one of those really popular concealers i've heard it compared to because it's so creamy this one is just a little more serum-y so i'm going to go ahead and put that on the high points of my face as well as i use it to actually cover my acne so I'm just doing a little bit of a triangle motion under the eyes go in again on the chin a little bit down the nose and on the forehead and I'm also going to put a little on my hand 
to cover up any acne spots that I feel are peeking through. This coverage is good that guys. Is. This is the only time I like the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques uh, Complexion Sponge. I'm going to go ahead and use this end to go ahead and just blend out my concealer here. I do have the shade in Fair for this concealer. I got it off QVC. Um, I believe it was two for $29, so you save $10 because they're about $20 each. So if you were to buy them from Ulta or um, Sephora or anything like that. And see, it just blends out like a dream. It's amazing. I absolutely love this concealer. So yeah, see how just effortlessly it blends? It's just so good. I love it. So now I have some concealer on my hand. I'm going to just go ahead and just spot conceal where I feel I need to. I just have a lot of scars in this area. And there are days that I absolutely don't spot conceal at all. Because, you know, it just, why take the extra time when you don't, when you feel like you have pretty good coverage. Because this foundation does provide pretty good coverage. Um, so there are definitely days that I skip this step. But when I am wanting a flawless absolutely you know perfect complexion I will go ahead and do this step and I just pat it in and this is so this is just so light and creamy that it really does not make you look cakey it's so good um, absolutely set it though because it is a serum base so you do want to set it to make sure that it's not going to crease or move around or anything like that but it's so good guys i absolutely recommend so it. now i'm coming in with this blush brush honestly i'm not exactly oh it's by danielle that's who it's by um i'm gonna go and set everything tap out one more time just because nobody likes creases And I will show you what I'm using in just a second. Sorry about that. Should have showed you guys. I'm using the Sona Kashuk um, Brightening Powder. And I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I'm done here. So I'm just setting out on my eyelids because they get really, um, really oily throughout the day. And this just helps my eyeshadow a lot to just stay better and just keep some from being oily and my forehead always always creases I just swear I have so many um, I just really like to go heavy-handed with that just to make it nice and bright this is what it looks like and it is the brightening powder by Sony Cash this is about $10.99 I believe I think yeah a target and then I'm going to set the rest of the face because it just works better when you're going in with bronzer and things afterward with the Pure Cosmetics and it's the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. I recently got this. I'm not incredibly impressed with it, but I'm not upset at it either. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques buffing brush to go ahead and apply this just all over the face to set the rest of the foundation. I am personally oily, like I mentioned, so I just set everything no matter what so just go in it I just kind of pound some people don't it's totally up to you I prefer pouncing versus buffing because I feel like I'm moving around everything I just did especially you know that concealer and stuff so I'm not trying to have to go in and redo everything, so I do pounce. And I don't find this looks powdery. And if you are feeling a little too powdery, I go in with the setting spray at the end, so. You so I don't even worry about it. I, you know, I, everything is covered. Of course, you can still see a little bit of like acne scars um, because, excuse me, just not cute. Nobody likes foundation lips, so. You're still going to be able to see a little bit of the texture from the acne scars and stuff. But honestly, it 
covers up all the redness I can go out like this feeling really confident about myself and really good so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish um, if you guys are wanting to see a more simple one with just like concealer and just set it kind of deal for a really quick everyday for like those moms and just busy students and different things out there I would love to do that so this is my acne coverage um, I absolutely love it. I feel really confident. I feel flawless and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Just be confident, guys. You're, everybody is so beautiful, acne or not. Um, it's taken me a long time to realize that. But just be confident, and I hope you all have a very blessed week and day.